Okay, it's Mr. and Pepper. This is called an earth battery. It's not really a battery, it's a chemical reaction. But if we hook up a voltmeter here, we can see, if I hook it up, hold on. We can see we get about one and a half volts or so. Um, it doesn't really matter how far you place it apart, but uh, I was going to show you the LED that it's actually usable current. Here's my uh, little speaker, and it's a 1.5 volt speaker. It's the same one I used in the wet cell battery. And let's see if I can set up. I think this is positive. So, I'm going to put that on like that. Let's touch it. Well, there we go. Here it is. So it's usable current and it won't do a spark gap like the other one and destroy all the all the um, RF. You can use this for a small light. Um, I'm going to use it for a garden light and get back to you guys in a couple days and ask you how long it lasted. I'm going to run a simple LED in there. I may have to build two of them in a couple cells but you can build them all in the same pot there. So there you go. It's a simple little thing called an earth battery. It can give you one to three volts generally, depending on the soil conditions. This is in a potted plant or a tomato plant, so it's got a lot of uh, a lot of minerals and such in there. So who knows? So this is probably optimal, but in the regular ground tube work too. Um, people, I've seen people run these things a long distance. But there you go. Mr. Pepper out. Have a great day. And, Try it for yourself. See how see the results you guys get. Alright, have a great day. Bye.